What's up everyone? Thanks for joining me for another setup with me. In today's video, I'll be showing you a carnival themed baby shower I did over the weekend. I'll be leaving all the colors, sizes, and brands of the balloons in the description box below. Please let me know if you have any questions and I hope you enjoy this video. inflate balloons outside definitely takes up a lot of time because you have to cluster them right away usually I inflate all my balloons cluster and then start building garlands but since I was doing this outside it took up so much time this setup took me four hours usually it takes me three it's very important to speak with whoever will be on site or whoever's house you'll be using to ensure that you have somewhere inside to inflate for this event in particular, I was trying to stay within a budget. In order to do that, I got a smaller sized vehicle, which resulted in me not being able to pre-inflate balloons, so I had to inflate all the balloons on site. So now I'm adding the balloons down the middle and all I'm doing is adding the mini garlands in and you treating it like it's a puzzle so if it looks like it fits I'll go ahead and add them and if there's any holes I go back again and I add quads. Quads are four balloons clustered together and I just add those on top of any holes that I see and then if there's still holes after that the 24 inches and the 5 inch balloons will cover them up. If you're doing a setup similar to this or a balloon wall and you notice that the balloons are kind of starting to concave or go backwards, all you have to do is pull them out and they usually stay. I'm not going to lie, the bottom of this balloon setup was driving me absolutely nuts. Um, so it did take me a little while, but as you can see, I'm kind of just placing the clusters in to see if they fit. If they fit, I'll go ahead and secure them in, um, either using the Nex or a 260. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. So I was not feeling how the left side of this balloon garland was a lot longer than the right, so all I did was rip apart the last cluster and all I did was move it to somewhere that I felt it fit better. So 
So this job can be very, very stressful, I'm going to be honest. But my word of advice is to keep on building until you have the base or at least the you know, majority of your setup done and then go in with your fillers and your details. And my most crucial piece of advice is to not get stuck on any one part of the garland. And this is my favorite part, which is adding the five inch details. They make all the difference. You can turn something that is super basic into something that is very luxury looking um, with these five inch balloons. Um, so I had these already pre-inflated, pre -inflated. like I said before in previous videos, I never go to an event without these prepped. And I'm going to be completely honest, I was not feeling this setup at all. The balloons were not doing what I wanted to, so I kind of just went ham with these 5 inch balloons because they completely transformed it. Um, if it was just my base balloons, sometimes I could get away with it. Actually, a lot of times I could get away with just my base balloons, but these 5 inches really, really, really took this setup to the next level. This empty space I fill up with a quad. If you ever have any empty spaces, try using a quad to fill them up. They usually do the job. Always clean up as you go. Make sure that you're organizing your stuff as you go. It saves a lot of time at the end of your setup and it saves a lot of time during the week um, from you having to put balloons back and, um, you know, just organizing at home because you all know we got enough to do at home as it is.